two developments tonight on the major political story of the last month. One, we're finally hearing from the head of Elections Canada about those fraudulent phone calls in the last election. He says more than 700 Canadians report specific allegations of wrongdoing. And two, an exclusive CBC News investigation reveals a distinct pattern of who got the misleading calls. Our senior correspondent, Terry Malewski, has been talking to voters across the country. Terry. Well, Peter, the key question is about those illegal calls misdirecting voters to phony polling stations. How did the callers know which voters to misdirect? No point in just calling randomly and misleading your own voters. But now CBC News has turned up voters all over the country who got those misleading calls after they told the Conservatives they would not support them. They did call me back from the Conservative Association and uh, ask if they could count on my support. Party. Tim McCoy of Ottawa Vanier did not pledge his vote to the Tories. Then he got a misdirection call like this. This is an automated message from Elections Canada. I thought, well, that's strange. If Elections Canada doesn't call people who called me saying that Elections Canada had an important message for me. It happened all over the country, and a pattern emerges in at least 31 writings surveyed by CBC News. From coast to coast, misdirection calls were targeted at people who were not Tory supporters. Due to a projected increase in voter turnout, your poll location has been changed. Charles Cochran in St. John told the Conservatives he would not vote for them. Then... The phone rang and I picked it up and it was a recorded message. This is the Lexus Canada calling. Your polling station has now changed. The Conservative Party can say absolutely definitively it has no role in any of this. The Conservatives have always insisted there is no connection to the party. Unsubstantiated <laughs> smear campaign. Baseless smears. Unsubstantiated smear. But how did the misdirection callers know who to call? All parties gather data on voter intentions. The conservative database called SIMS assigns a smiley face to supporters and a sad face to those who are not. It is valuable data and access to it is carefully controlled by the party. Who had access to the database? Who supplied the scripts? Who the opposition the has never had an answer to that. Still, somehow, someone knew it made sense to misdirect Laurie Bruce in Fredericton. She says the Tories didn't even pretend that it wasn't them. You know, this is so-and-so calling on behalf of Stephen Harper uh, and Keith Ashfield for the Conservative Party. Then came the misdirection. And he told me that my voting location had changed. Uh, I, at that point, said no, I, it's at the same location that it always is. But was it really the Conservatives? Laurie Bruce Googled the number and found out it was, but she wanted to be sure. I called the number back and just received, I just got like an answering machine message uh, saying thank you for calling the Conservative Party. In most cases, it was not so blatant. Most say they got separate calls. The first one was a few weeks before the election, and it was simply asked me one question, and that was, was I uh, going to vote for the Conservative Party? And uh, I indicated no. Only later did she get the second call. Uh, that it was Elections Canada calling, and that uh, they, uh, due to higher than anticipated voter turnout, uh, the uh, polling station had been changed. That was false, but it happened again and again. We're just phoning to let you know that the polling stations have changed. And I said, no, they haven't. It's crap. And I hung up on her. Astrid Diamond told Conservative callers repeatedly they did not have her vote. Then she too was misdirected. The last phone call came from the same number that all the other calls had come from, which I'd found out was the Conservative Party. But none of this explains how the callers got the data on which voters to mislead, data that was collected by the Conservative Party. Party spokesman Fred DeLore declined an interview and declined any comment on that question. Peter. All right, Terry, thanks very much. Terry Molesky in Ottawa tonight.